Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through business process engineering. So business process engineering can be done in three different methods or three different architectures we can say guys. So the basic aim of business process engineering is to define the architecture that will enable the business to use the information effectively. Okay, so we all know that we will be using ER diagrams, right? So the, that thing we'll be discussing here guys. So basically ER diagrams are used to represent the relation between data, right? Yes. Entity and relation basically we can call it as data also for this subject we can call it as data. Okay. So the three different architectures, the first architecture is data attributes architecture. Okay. So basically the data architecture provides the framework for the information which is required for the business or business functions. The architecture includes the different data objects. Each object has a set of attributes. So from here only you can say each object has a set of attributes. So if you assume customer, he will be having multiple attributes like name, phone number, address, account number. So similarly car, car has a price, model, color, name. So car is being purchased by the customer. So we can say in this. So this is nothing but the relation between the data. We are maintaining the relation between the data. So if you give this diagram to any software engineer or anyone, he can identify the relation between those things. So customer is having a name, he's having a phone number like that. He will be saying that. So that is nothing but the ER model guys. So this is the data architecture. So here you will be representing data. So the data object flow between the business functions are considered or organized within the databases and are transformed to provide information for the business, right? Yes. Okay. Similarly, let us go through application architecture guys. I hope everyone watched the previous lecture in which we discussed about hierarchical structure, right? System hierarchy, system engineering hierarchy. Okay. So the same diagram will be repeated here guys. Okay. So it's really simple diagram. So don't worry. It will be clear. So application architecture. Okay. Just give me a second. Okay. Application architecture. It include those elements of the system that transform objects within the data architecture for some business purpose. So basically here we are dividing it into multiple sections guys. You can say. So basically if you assume this is your whole project. Okay, so your project is nothing but information strategy planning you are doing it is nothing but the world view. So here we are having multiple business areas among which you will be selecting one that is nothing but domain view and this is called as process requirements. So you will be collecting the information system from there and you will be doing the processes. Guys, I am not so 100% clear with this topic. So that's the reason why I am just giving you an overview. Okay. Okay. So technical infrastructure. So our technology infrastructure, it provides the basis of data and application architecture. In other words, technical infrastructure provides the supporting of software and hardware. So how the software and hardware will interact with the data. Like I hope everyone knows the client server architecture or operating system and computer architecture. So those are the things which we will be dealing here like technologies infrastructures, right? Yes. The examples is computer operating system, client server model, etc. Okay. So I hope you got some basic idea because uh, this topics I even did not find a proper notes. So I wrote whatever I, I found guys. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea. So in the next lecture, we will be continuing with product engineering. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.